In this next assessment, all you need is a tape measure. We're always thinking about, especially in health and fitness, and, and as well as in physical therapy, because this matters as well in terms of how much pressure you're getting on your joints and how you're gonna recover from injuries, but looking at body composition. And, and what is body composition? Well, it's how much fat you have relative to your muscle mass and your skeleton as well, and, and looking at percentage body fat is one of the big things that people look at. But the little known thing that we learn in school is that it's actually your hip to waist measurement that really matters in terms of your long-term health. Simply take this tape measure, you're gonna go to your belly button, wrap it around, get a measurement, then you're gonna do the same thing and you're gonna measure right from these bones on the outside of your hips called the greater trochanter, these big knobby bones on the outside. So then what you do is you take the difference of dividing the measurement between your waist and your hips to determine what your waist to hip ratio is. For women, anything greater than 0.7, and men, anything greater than 0.9 is considered high risk for health problems.